Welcome back to CEO Money. I'm Michael Yorba, and we have got Larry Castro, CEO, Stealth Grid Corp. with us. Larry, welcome to the show. I, I went all the way through your your website, looked at all the videos. I You've got my attention. <laughs> well, thank you for having me on the show, and hopefully uh, the holidays have been good to you so far. Yeah, they have. They're getting better by the moment, especially yeah, that's, with this. <laughs> that's Ed Baxter, uh, co-host of the show, Bison Creek Capital. Tell us about yourself before we get into the topics, and bl- trust me, you are on the top of the list for topics right now. Well, I, thank you. Um, you know, I've been doing this for quite some time. I know that uh, we spoke a while back. Uh, I've been into the uh, the, the uh, digital space, but uh, over the past four years, we've been uh, developing quantum cybersecurity solutions, recognizing that RSA is now, you know, it's uh, it's 20 years behind. So every solution we build now is in the quantum space. And uh, we're pretty excited about what we've developed and what we're developing in some new relationships that will be announced today via a press release. So there's a lot of good things happening, but the crypto space is on fire. Absolutely. Stealth Grid Blockchain Technologies. Open that world for us. Sure. And so with the Stealth Grid, we've created what we call a Stealth Crypto Ecosystem. It's a platform that works with telecommunications. Uh, It works, and so we're going to de-radicalize the infrastructure telecommunications, but we're also creating... Uh, what we call the qubit blockchain. And if you know anything about quantum computers, a qubit is like a bit in the computer, but it's much more stronger. So we're creating our own blockchain that will um, be very powerful, be autonomous, and will be ver- the transactions will be extremely fast. Well, that's obviously the issue you've had with the blockchain in general. Uh, with some of these guys. You mentioned the, the quantum part of it. Microsoft just released a bunch of developer tools for quantum. I guess in that case, right. how does that play a role in what you do? Well, it only, it only uh, I think, really just enhances what we're doing. I know that, uh, you know, this is a, a big world, and anything that we can see in new advancements and can incorporate with what we're doing, we're, we, you know, we're, what we're creating is overall is a quantum mesh network. So that quantum network within that will deliver uh, data encryption, uh, you know, cloud storage, but we incentivize. So we've got some great plans. In 2018, we have a pre-token sale starting for our company, Stealth Crypto, um, io on December 28th. So, a lot going on. All right. Uh, Stealth Crypto Smartphone, what's that all about? Stealth Crypto, io. Uh, at, no, Stealth Crypto Smartphone, the feature that, you know, oh, hard kill switches. Smartphone. Yes. So, what, basically what we've done is we've taken a phone and we've containerized it with our applications and our uh, uh, quantum crypt- cryptographic algorithms, and that phone will be hardened, have hardened switches. Where we'll be able to turn off the uh, microphone, be able to turn off the camera, we'll be able to turn off um, uh, the GPS so that it'll be very secure, and then the phone will does not need to have a carrier. The phone will work off of what we call our mesh network. So the initial one will work just based on Wi-Fi and data, and the second version will be working just completely on our quantum mesh network. So we are taking out the big boys. I shouldn't say it, but we're taking out Verizon and all the big boys and creating this decentralized autonomous mesh network that will be able to be much stronger, much faster, and give people much more opportunities. Larry, for people whose brains are as slow as mine, yeah, could you repeat that? <laughs> Whoa. I mean, you, that, was, that, that was a big leap there, man. Well, I, I'm, I'm a leaper. Yes, yeah, that, that was definitely a quantum leaf. Your partner the pun there. Yeah, he he, st- he he still wants to understand. All week, yeah. Okay, we still want to understand it better. You're gonna to have to break it down for us a little bit. Sure. So what we've done is that we've got we are, we've got the phone and a NASH unit coming out. The NASH unit will have an integrated Wi-Fi, but it also communicate with nodes. So based on this global infrastructure that we're creating within this within our network, you will be able to communicate via nodes. So they'll pick up nodes within our you know, whatever direct direct line it is, and you'll be able to, to get Internet, data storage, and communications off this quantum mesh network, all utilizing our quantum cryptographic. So we're doing quantum number generation and quantum key distribution because not just the encryption part is important, but also the authentication and the key distribution. So we're creating this new infrastructure, and I, I keep on telling everybody, and I believe it because I've been doing this for a while, this is a Pac Bell Google slash Facebook moment in what we're creating. And this is not something that's just pie in the sky. Mesh networks work on 
first responders in the military. When they're in a place that they can't get telecommunication, they utilize a smaller scale mesh network. We're not just putting it in the hands of users. So they're, they build the network, they are the network, and it, it's incentivized. So it's pretty powerful. Okay, is is this an open source thing, or are, are you into a position where you've got like VPNs uh, that you set up so that the 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 content that is moving from one place to the other is is protected? It you can't crack it. Correct, and also what we've got is we've also got our own data center that that actually the only thing it does is it works as the. Um, uh, the proxy for the keys, but those keys are split encrypted and, 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 and also polymorphically hashed. So anybody picks up any part of the key, they won't be able to put it together. It is only put together when it comes to whatever device is supposed to receive it or sending it. Now, one thing that's interesting about what you just said, because I, I, I hearken back to the early days of uh, the early days of you know, the phone system with companies like American Tower and Crown Castle and companies like that. Uh-huh. What, uh-huh. what you're talking about is, is really a disruption of the entire network as we knew when it was built at the time from a tower t- standpoint and right. with the mesh network. How do you accomplish oh something like that? You actually gave me some goosebumps talking about it because that's exactly what our vision is. That's right. And it basically is by the adoption through our global infrastructure. You Also, our software will be able to lay over computers. It will be able to lay over um, uh, other devices to be able to – Obviously, you've got to scale this, right? So in order for this to grow, we've got to get the adoption, which we don't think is going to be um, hard to do right now. That's why we're taking stages in the way that we deliver our phone and our NAS unit. But we believe that once the people start realizing that they don't need to pay those fees, that they can have a more secure private line, and it can also be incentivized at the same time, it's really a no-brainer. It, it sounds like a lot of brainer to me. Yeah, that is absolute. That is next level. Yeah, I, you know the funny part is, is that I, ha- I worked with a guy one time. I, a little background: you guys already knew that I was kind of a pioneer in golf fitness. So I worked with this guy named Jean Jacques Met out of uh, is a biomechanist out of France, and he says, "Larry, he says I work real hard to make it simple." He says the muscles that activate during the golf swing, there's hundreds of them. He says, but I put it down to five. So what we want to do, we're doing the hard work, is to make it simple, plug and play, enjoy the uh, en- enjoy the secure private networks that we're creating. And uh, that's what we're that's what we're doing. So you're right. There's a lot of hard work that goes behind the scenes. Larry, we got to go, but we man, just, we just signed a deal with the MVP Asia Pacific, which brings us over 200 developers to our project, so that we can scale. And that's going to be announced today. All right. Congratulations, and thank you for thank being you. here, Larry. Thank you, Larry. <laughs> thank you. All right, Larry Castro, Stealth Grid Corp, stealthgrid.com. This has been CEO Money with Michael Yorba, Ed Baxter, brought to you by Tycon Partners.